Here are some interesting facts about the brush-tailed possum. Brush-tailed possums are part of the marsupial family. They are found in Australia, Tasmania and New Zealand, as well as several smaller neighbouring islands. They live in woodlands and forest areas, as well as gardens, parks and even big cities. When they are fully grown, they reach an average of 40 to 50 centimetres in length, plus an extra 25 to 30 centimetres for their tail, and they weigh an average of 3 to 4 kilograms. They have a pointed snout, pink nose, long whiskers and large ears. They also have sharp claws which they use to climb trees. They vary considerably in colour. They can be black or grey, reddish brown, golden or white. They are omnivores. Their diet varies depending on where they live, but they mainly eat leaves, flowers, shoots, fruits and seeds, as well as insects, birds and eggs and occasionally other small animals. In urban areas, they scavenge for food in rubbish bins. They are nocturnal animals. They are active at night and usually spend their days sleeping in dens. In urban areas, they commonly make dens in attics, abandoned buildings and garages. In the wild, they mainly live in trees, but sometimes they live underground in old burrows or dense vegetation. Brush-tailed possums tend to lead a solitary life. They mark their territory with a scent released from glands on their chest. If two possums meet at night, they will try to avoid each other. Fights between adult possums are rare, although they do make threatening noises towards each other. Young possums may be attacked if they try to take over an adult's range. In some cases, in areas where numbers are high and shelters are in short supply, several possums may share a den. Brush-tailed possums communicate by using a wide range of sounds, including grunts, clicks, coughs and screeching. Breeding can occur at any time of the year. After a pregnancy of around 17 days, the female gives birth to an average of one baby. The baby is born at a very undeveloped stage and must use what small amount of energy it has to crawl up the mother's body and into her pouch. Once in the pouch, the baby starts suckling from one of her teats. After four or five months, the baby leaves the pouch and rides on the mother's back for a further two or three months. They will then leave the mother and go off on their own. They live for an average of six to seven years in the wild and more than 15 years in captivity. Thank you very much for listening. For more videos about wildlife, please subscribe.